Thanks very much, Ken Corla. I'm delighted to get the chance to speak on this motion because I'm finding um, more and more this is becoming an issue for people, uh, certainly calling into us, who can't access a GP. Um, oftentimes, maybe people have been either living abroad or even just living in other parts of the country, and when they come home, it's impossible to access a GP. And in certain cases, one case we had recently, somebody had a very serious uh, condition, had been living in, in England for a long period of time, as a result of health, had to come home and then couldn't access a GP. And similar to Deputy Doherty's story, then can't get into the consulting service that they need in a hospital because everything is based on a GP referral. And we know as well that oftentimes when people can't access a GP, they're then presented at the uh, emergency rooms, and that's obviously putting pressure on that system. But to be fair to people, in certain cases, they don't know what else to do. And particularly if you're dealing with a sick child, you're not going to be taking any chances. And it's sort of like a vicious circle effect. And that's why I think as well, one of the key things contained in the motion um, in relation to the pharmacy first approach I think we really need to look at this and we need to explore this a lot more because there are so many services that our pharmacists could be offering and I think it's a service we underutilize and I think at this point so many people have built up a really good and strong relationship with their local pharmacists and actually uh, you know I'm certainly hearing that people will go there oftentimes because they can't get into a GP and that's actually really putting the pharmacist at times in a very difficult situation but I suppose people really are getting desperate and it, it is difficult in a way to to understand how we're talking about people accessing basic health care such as a GP service but it is becoming a huge problem and I think there's some really good solutions contained in this as well in relation to um, community and nursing home beds. For decades we have provided great convalescent services in this country and over the last number of years we've seen those dwindle off and that really is one of the reasons why so many people get stuck in the hospital system. So um, I'm glad to hear the government is supporting it but I would agree that we need to see these uh, measures implemented. Thank you. Thank you.